everyone, editing Edo here. Before we begin today's video, Edo4 has issued a statement that has said Edo4 does not own any footage filmed or used here besides the footage of this right here and his friend. So please support the official release and please don't close down my channel. Love Edo. P.S. Thanks for the support for the fourth anniversary. So without further introduction, please enjoy the 25th birthday and 100th special final Korean report of this. And I'll see y'all later. Annyeong. Hi everyone. Before we get into the main video today, we have another show of Guess the Artist! So, so we're down to our final round. So, what is our final round question, Mr. Kevin? What is the last crew report that Edo Fourth will report on? Alrighty, and where have you been? Sorry, traffic was heavy out there. Let's see what you have, Mr. Soho. Boy and color? Come on, Soho. Color is not even a Korean group. It's a Japanese group. I thought you would know this, man. We both have the same answers, dude. Matt, what did you guys get? We both have the same answers. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Show me what's your answers. S E S. And that is correct, guys. Come up front. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait. What's gonna happen to me? That's a very unfortunate question you ask. All your money goes down to one one, and you lost completely. Not only have you guys won the game, but now you guys have tripled the scores of one, and you guys get to go to the trip of Korea! No way! Dude! No way! Dude! No way, dude. No way, dude. Let's go! <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> but I was supposed to go to Korea. What about the Finkel story? Soho, you, you you lost the game, man. Like, um, like you lost. Like, there's there's nothing we could do about it. And we already we we already discussed the Finkel history from the previous video. But don't worry, Soho, you won't leave empty-handed. You get forty-four-one, and you also get to listen to SES story, even though you're not going to Korea. Well, at least I'm not in the Squid Game. Well. Folks, that's our show. I got to get back to Edo Podcast and Story 4. And until next time, guys, meet us in Guess That Artist. I'll see you guys next time. Funny how dreams come true. Funny how I feel for you. And I say, oh, you're a good one. Edo for me, da. Goody go. Hang one head. Not in channel. I got Edo Numo 4. Guessing from this long introduction, along with the song I just sung on my way here, I am going to be talking about my third and final Korean report of SES for my 100 sub. And 25th video special! Wait, I kind of understand why this would be possibly your 100th sub special. But why would this be your 25th birthday special? Well, the reason why it's my 25th birthday special is not just because the group started in my birth year, but it's also the first Korean musical artist and group I've ever sung from 10 years ago after their debut, you know? Okay, that makes sense. Also, for your next video, um, Game Show Edo will be coming home, so good night. <laughs> Thanks, Toy Time Edo. I'll, I'll see you around. I will go over the history the best way I can while speaking in Korean, but for this special, I am also going to add Japanese, Chinese, Thai, Spanish, and Russian subtitles as well. But don't worry, the English and Korean subtitles will be added too. And with our final introduction, let's finally start 
the reports. Just like I said previously, the group's abbreviation stands for their own real name, SES. The first S is C, which is Bada in Korean. Choi Sung-hee was born on the 28th of February in 1980, Buchon, Yeonggi do E for Eugene, born in Seoul, South Korea, on the 3rd of March in 1980, as Kim Yo Jin. Lastly, the S for Shu, Shu. Kunu Mitsu, born in the same year as Eugene on October the 23rd and was born in Yokohama, Japan. Bada's family has been put into an outdoor home provided by their local church since her family couldn't afford to pay for their original house and lived there from age 8 until 9 years later before her debut. Eugene's family moved to Guam when she was in the fifth grade until her debut in 1997. Lastly, Shu is half Japanese and Korean, so she spent all of her life in two countries. Now that I have explained their childhood, I really don't think I can explain how they were scouted because I really feel the person who could really do it better than I can is Eugene. So I'm going to let her explain. In Bella's case, she was singing in um, school performance, and she, she got scouted. And my case is uh, my mom's friend has a friend who's working in the SM production. So uh, she introduced me to the production, so I got the audition. And in Shu's case, uh, she really wanted to be a singer. So she asked her mom to uh, go to the audition, and she, sing and she sang and danced in there. And, Thank you, Eugene, for your explanation. So now the second chapter will be my birth year. I know you're all wondering, how is this next chapter your birth year? Well, this right here is not only just the year I was born along with many others either being born or alive during that same time too but what was it like well here in america it was just a regular time but everything was changing especially what i'm doing right now like this laptop right here aka a computer was really pretty new at the time or just technology in general Everything was quite regular while everyone is traveling everywhere, except there was one thing that brought a terror to Asia, especially to Korea, which is called the IMF. How it begins is, the, is that there hasn't been a lot of money that add up for the economy, so it declared bankruptcy, but they weren't the only one. Thailand, Indonesia, and the eastern part of Asia all suffered through the same fate. This was the moment of Korea along with many others that they were starting to become an independent country with their own songs with more projects too. Every single thing at Korea at the time was becoming worthless, closing down, disappearing in existence until one man changed it all. And his name was Lee Suman. He was born on the 18th of June in 1952 in Jeonju, Jeolla Province, South Korea. He himself made his own albums from 1977 to 1989, while also in the same realm making his own television series on NBC. On the journey, for this journey, he came to America from 1980 to 1985. He was in Northridge, California, and he became the one of the programmers for MTV. Once he saw what music was in store in America, he went back to Korea to try to replicate it himself. 
1989, SM started, but there wasn't really anybody there yet. Instead, he just produced other artists until 1995, which he decided to finally make a group of his own. Like I said previously, in 1996 is where he debuted his first male group called H.O.T. Our name is H.O.T. stands for High Five of Teenagers. And And they became a massive hit overnight. Their first album called We Hate All Kinds of Violence released on September the 7th of 1996 with hits such as Candy, Warriors Descendant, and many more. Even though their success was really big, especially with their second album in 97 called Wolf and Sheep, they had a competition to deal with. with Not just with the IMF, but also with DSP Records of the rival Sex Kiss. Other levels that were rising up from this period was YG Entertainment of Genushan, previously of Soteji and Boys. JYP Records with JYP himself, and DR Records a Baby VOX. So what could SM Records do now? I definitely believe in one meeting in either early of 97 or the fall of 96, they had to have a meeting to figure out what was their next move to keep their business company still afloat. And that's how they decided to go with SES. The first album that was released from SES is called I'm Your Girl, which came out in stores on November the 1st of 1997. For their legendary song, it was directed and edited by the legendary Hong Jong Ho, aka Hong's Pictures. Also, it featured Eric Munn and Andy Lee. They were also featured on tracks such as Nonsense and Giode. Hangi, your perfume or scent, which may or may not be a cover from Yu Young Jin. Please let me know in the comments. But other than that, they made a debut success. Although they still had a bit of a problem with IMF. So what was the next thing that they could do now? Well, it's going global, of course. With their next stop of Shu's birth town, Japan. Which brings us to our next chapter. So, here we go. Mmm. Yum. Mashisa. Within their second year, they were very popular winning six awards and having another hit song from their first album called Oh My Love. Now it was time for them to go to Japan to expand not only their popularity but also their economy too. Their second album for the first of Out of the Hangu Experience is their acronym called C Eugene and Shu released on the same month as their first album on November the 23rd of 1998 and made it to the very first place on the charts. Their popularity expanded in Japan as well as their first album in Japan or their third album coming soon. Both songs from their second album called Dreams Come True and a translation called Eternal Love were covers from the Finnish pop group called Nylon Beat. Meanwhile in Korea, remember Eric and Andy from the last chapter? They're now in a group called Shimwa, which means myth or legend, releasing their first album called Resolver, solved on May the 9th in 1998. A young girl named Wong Boa was set for her debut in the start of the millennium, more about her later. Lastly, their fifth artist and group Fly to the Sky released their first album Day by Day on the winter holidays of December the 14th of 1999 and made it to the seventh place. 
Their first group, H.O.T., released two albums called Resurrection and Aya while touring in America at the same time and winning their first MTV award in 1999 in New York, America. Back in Japan, they released Reach Out, coming in on March 11, 1999 on SM, AVIX, and VAP record while reaching the 30th to 50th place on the chart of Japan while releasing in the eastern part of Asia too. Their three popular songs from that album are Megaru Sekai Fate World, Believe in Love, and Yume wo Kanashnete, Dream Gathering or Gathering of Dream. There's the second to last thing to talk about for this chapter is their last album in the 90s called Love. Made contact on the 29th of October 1999 and hugged on the first place of AVIX and SM Records. During these times, they are still touring in China along with HOT, Flinko, Sex Kiss, Baby Vox, and possibly many others. Also are, is seen from their special VCD DVD called Dreams Come True and their music video Shy Boy from their second album. The popular songs from the third album is Twilight Zone and Love which that music video was shot in New York. Show Me Love is a cover from Misa's song translated as All Tangled Up. Speaking of covers, another type of cover that they did was from Shimwa's T.O.P. In exchange of that, they also sang vocals to Shimwa's Yo for their second album called T.O.P. Twinkle of Paradise was released on April the 5th of 1999 and made it to the third place. They also had a winter collab with SM called SM Town on the 15th of December of the same year, along with the Korean PSA with the other musical companions from Korea. Last thing I want to get to before we reach the millennium is the Michael Jackson tour called MJ and Friends on the 25th of June 1999. The other performers that were there was not just MJ and HOT themselves, but also Coco Lee, Mariah Carey, Boys to Men, along with many others. And as a huge favor to you all, I'm going to share the link of that concert down below. SES? Oh, you know yeah, SES? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they all come to Taiwan to do promotion and they're really good. So now we get to move on to the 21st century of our next chapter. We're back in Japan once again with their second slash fifth album called Be Ever Wonderful that made it to the 21st century world in the 24th of May 2000. It made it beautifully on the 100th place of number 93 of new and old songs translated from them. Once again in Korea, Boa has not only learned into the bilingual market but also made the debut her debut album called id peace b identified on august the 25th in the same year while being recognized on the third place of korea and the 21st place of japan their sixth album is a letter from greenland the mail was sent on the 22nd of december of the same year and their message made it to the first place once again. Other collaborations made during these times is five greatest hits album along with two and more collabs with SM Town. The second to last thing to talk about is their first concert called 2000 SES First Concert. Made their debut in the summer of the 21st century on June the 16th. Last album to cover for this chapter is called 
Choose My Life, You. It was chosen on Love Day on February the 14th of 2002. It made it yet again in number first place in Japan and Korea. At this point, they, they took a break, but their story isn't over just yet. And that will be explained on the next chapter. This story, yet again, will be very brief, but I'm going to tell of how SES present story the best way I can. Let's start with Bada, I mean C. She released four albums with multiple television, multiple musical appearances, while actually still making music now. Eugene has started her acting career since 2002, still continuing on to this day, while releasing two albums. Lastly is Shu, still making music while having been in musical and television show appearances. As for SES themselves, they released their eighth recent album called Remember. Put on the memory from the 20th year of the new year of 2017 on January the 2nd and made it to the seventh place. They also had a television series with the same name as the album while making a reunion tour four times or even more than a row. As far as their label SM, they have more artists, groups, concerts, etc. So it's very hard to keep up what they're doing. But a lot of current artists, even the ones that have started right afterwards, have a big inspiration from SES and especially they had they were in an appearances of the documentary from YouTube called K-pop evolution they also have a family as well one thing I want to share with you all before I end this chapter is see comparison of 20 years for I'm your girl please enjoy This seems to be the end of the chapter of SES. I'm very humbled that I got to do the report on them. And now in Korean once again, we joheo SES with that. What I really liked about them is that they were always different from each other, not just from their looks, but their ideas and style from 97 to 2002. Once again, I'm going to speak in Korean, but not just that, I will also speak in Japanese as well because it's true. So please enjoy and take it away, story time, Edo. Kansamida Edo. Narun YouTube Dashi Hangwa. Ichibu. New Golu Gurigo Your style Atatatiga the AMV anime music video uh Azumanga Dayo Azumanga Hangwa the the great king Dayo Channel Thumbnail God the SCS I'm your girl My brain said Hey, check this out. This this might be cool. Miteyo, miteyo. Habun boseyo, habun boseyo. Narun shijimare arasa. Narun the white background. Uga manda. The channel V version. The kurigo. TLC vibe me ga. Moichiro wa hanashi o mina de ego de atatachi ga kokoro de de uta de de hanashi o de nihongo de kankoku o moichiro 
And though, already, at 10 years old, this song was released on my birth year. I've noticed that they are singing, dancing, and rapping, but I don't know what they're saying. But I honestly didn't let that ruin the vibe of the song. And of course, later on, I've translated it as well. The music video for me was an introduction for myself to understand Korean culture. And what won it for me was Bada's vocals. I believe her vocals were the best for me because it was it was very cutesy. It was like a baby voice. That's the only best way I could describe it. And, and yes, but yes, everyone else has used these vocals before and after her. Overall, Bada's vocals won me over and got amazing over time from her debut. Their music video, when I was looking at it from that moment, even to this day, was welcome to our music and we're glad you can make it. Especially since they had a bright close-up on their first video as well. That also introduced me to them on a musical and learning level. And now back for me speaking in Korean and Japanese. Story time? The game SES おまれたねんで大好きよとかおま中央じゃけもうすんこんみだ半グスタイルもうすんがなるん出産よどおまが軍よぎげそうごいこそでへとイカアジャもと あわてなった。始まん、変ぼけ、つぶいてなおでごごぶんが、くりごSESもとエイジャアルムグ、おいじゅべそ、4ドエルコスだ。本じゃが、韓国はなるんとえ、始まって感謝みだ Hangu artist Sombencha Tutu Dukes Young Young Turks Club Sail Soteji Baby VOX Kurigo Kansamida On November the second will be SES Day. Back to you, Edo. Thanks, story time. My other favorite moment of SES for me is the CF, aka commercial for the shrimp chips. I lo- I just love the melody and energy that they put on it. Also, I like uh. Also, on that note, I like Flinko's ramen commercial as well. And yes, during both of those times, I was one years old. Other favorite moments is when they were on a K-drama where they hung out with a dude in the park. And the reason why I like this specific skit is because they spoke in three languages, along with their international interviews as well. Them hanging out with lions. And I definitely believe they did a TLC tribute. So here is the contact. So yeah, by CLC, it has been 30 years since that group has began. And it also has been 20 years since one of the members named Lisa Lefty Lopez has passed away. I was five years old at the time. They were on a Japanese show where SES promoted their last album called Choose My Life You. They were saying one of their favorite songs from them was called Waterfall. At the end of the show, with the credits, they were singing a cover of the song. Even though I am not 100% sure that they noticed that Left Eye was gone at that point, or if the 
airing of this television show came beforehand or afterhand, it was, to me, a still pretty good cover. On that note, rest in peace to not only Left Eye, Jam Master J, Aaliyah, most recently Gilbert Godfrey, and etc. Another thanks to artists I like to thank for Korea during that time of 20 years ago, and furthermore is MLIK, Milk, Sugar, Deja Vu, along with many other artists happening in not only Korea, but the rest of the world of 2002. And now I am also going to talk about what was my favorite song from SES, which are I'm Your Girl, Oh My Love, I Love You, Shy Boy, Twilight Zone, Sha La La, Be Natural, Dream Come True, Love, You, Ghetto Style, Just a Feeling, Remember in both English and Japanese, and Just in Love in Korean and Japanese, and Nonsense. The reason why I love Nonsense, and I found, I've listened to this during the 20 year anniversary of SES, is because the way Eric and Andy from Shinwa were rapping in the song in Korean and English sounded like the characters from my favorite Canadian Cartoon Network show called Ed and Eddie. Andy Lee sounded like Eddie. Eric Mung sounded like Ed. And unfortunately, there is no double D sound in the song, but they really did sound like the Korean version of them. And once I shared this with the actual voice actors of Ed and Danny and Tanucci themselves, they actually like it. On that note, um, if Eric and Andy did sound the Korean version of Ed and Eddie, please let me know. Another moment I want to share with you all is the person who directed and edited SES's first video and many more was Hong Pictures himself. His experience with him and other artists was he made sure that the artists and group he directed and edited themselves were not only having fun in their own music video, but also making sure that they were comfortable too. And that's why I loved messaging him from that time of 2019. On that note, as an honest friend, I want to give the credit of Hong's Pictures doing remastering of Korean music videos first. But no hard feeling. I really love both versions of SM and Hong Pictures. Thanks. 감사합니다. 친구. I realize it's been about 10 to 15 years since Korean music has reached the US. One early thing I like to point out from 1999 or the millennium of 2000 is that there was two television shows called MVH, Music Video Heaven, and Revolution from International Channel. A good friend of mine named Noel Comics shared a little bit of history about International Channel from my seventh episode. I believe by 1997 to the 21st century, that's when they added the shows in. Only bad news is that there isn't a subtitle for that, especially another one where he interviews International Channel for Life, but I still would like for you guys to check it out. And here is the link below. Once again, I love the fact that I got to do this video, especially if you guys would like to use this in any of your reports about Korean musical artists and etc. feel free. Speaking of sharing, other things I like to share with you all is other videos I made previously of Boa IDPSV, the English version, Soteji I Know English Mix with the anime DNA2, Steve Yu's Aha, YG Family, YB Normal, and Milk's Wish. They've even, they inspired me so much that two years ago, that's how I did my second episode about them from How Blank Create Blank. Omana Gon 
Benji Madu Onigam Mihongo Konaku Naku Sehoho. I've even performed during that same time was uh, I'm Your Girl at during the Stay at Home performance from ISS, International Student Union. And now after this influ influential story of why I like them, we can now get to the sponsor shout out. See you there. Okay, everyone, our special for this video goes to SES of C, Eugene, and Shu. Shoutouts goes to Hong's Pictures, SM Records, Daily SES Fairies, The Creepy Fox, Tree Stump Studio, Face the Music, Ploppy 678, Weekly Weird K-Pop, Midnight Theories, Alternate Anna, an up-and-coming rapper Nocturnal, Casey, mm, Casey Bushmeyer, Kids Gaming Fan, and Jay Hitoy for my last podcast episode. And the helpers for this episode today goes to my friends Rib, Malik, Matt Tag, Dalton, and Kev. Thank you guys for watching my birthday special. Coming up next or later is the Japanese report of heads along with another episode of the podcast. Like I said before, if you guys like for me to do more groups from Korea, Japan, etc. Please comment down below. And I'll see you all next time. Annyeong! Stay with me, last forever, yeah. Unfortunately, there is no double D in this role. Alright, just show me both of your answers. Eugene's family moved to Guam when she was in the fifth grade until her debut in 1997. <laughs> My other favorite moment of SES for me is the C. Ah. <laughs> My other favorite moment of S. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's very important question you asked. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Well, being recognized on the 30. Hmm. And it was first there from 1990, and I believe by 97 or the 21st search. Nah. Edo4 uh, liked it. Mm. Hello everyone, editing Edo here. Before we begin today's video, alright, take a break. Sorry, traffic was heavy out there. Oh wait, wait, wait. for that line, uh, look just up. look at me. Yeah, uh, okay. look at the camera for that one. Well, it's cool. <laughs> That's a very unfortunate question you ask. All your mini gold. Okay. Yeah.
all suffer through the same thing. Okay. And winning the first award in 1997, I mean, ah! <laughs> Even though their success was really big, especially with their second album coming out at the time, it was called uh, Wolf It. Just like Korea, their popularity expanded in Japan as well as their first album, Album. Oh. Alright, Ribbon Mac, what did you guys get? Oh, wait. P.S. Thanks for the support for my, for the fourth anniversary. Guys, come up front! <laughs> is that he made sure that the audience um mm. I the, uh, as a, and as a huge favor mm. along with many others one thing I'd like to share with you all before I end this chapter is C's comparison for 20th years ah them saying to me welcome to our music and we're glad that you can make it mm. okay here we go all right Kansamida. Oh. i don't have any doubts <laughs> i feel this all right <laughs> <laughs>